everybody. It's been it's been a rough three weeks. It's been pretty challenging with that full stop driving, but um, I think it's all worked out eventually great. But yeah, um, just wanted to give you guys updates. I loved I love the car. It's a way newer 2023. So yeah, it's got better interior and everything. The ride quality should be better. Suspension should be better than the than my previous Model Y performance. I'm gonna miss the acceleration, but it's fine. Um, it's got seven seaters. I'm gonna go back home, um, do some test driving, but um, you know, might as well. I just do, um, uh, I'm gonna use full self driving here. I miss full self driving so much for the last three weeks. That's one other thing. Like, was you really indulge in full self driving once you really experience the full everything about it? Then you can't really go back. You can't. So, waiting. And then we go. And this car has a uh, Hardware 3, self-driving Hardware 3, uh, not Hardware 4, but uh, it's going to be great. And I've been, um, I've been driving with uh, just autopilot, regular the pilot um, for about three weeks and maybe two weeks. Um, it's definitely really helpful, uh, more helpful than not having it at all. But yeah, it was nothing like a full self-driving, but here we're supposed to make left in here. I'm gonna take over because we. It, I see like a construction zone and stuff here. Um, I, I believe uh, the freeway is still closed, so we'll see how it goes. Going back to um, what I was saying about not having full self driving, just having uh, autopilot. It's really um massive difference. It's good to have autopilot, but it's just full self driving is just another level. It, it, it re literally is self-driving almost, right? So turns and leaving. And autopilot is just a lane keeping, almost like advanced cruise control software, which helps you drive better, technically, or safer. It's like autopilot, like autopilot wouldn't be able to stop at the stop sign, traffic light, it, it just can't drive you from point A to point B. So it's full self driving, it just literally takes you anywhere from point A to point B. C, D, and E, everything. So it's really game changer. And uh, I'm so key and grateful that I have this technology available. And um, I'm so thankful uh, for being able to let, uh, you know, people, Uber riders experience technology and super thankful for being able to spread the awareness of it. Uh, going back to the full self driving performance, it's been driving really great. I have no complaint, super smooth as uh, just like my Model Y performance, old one, our full self driving was performing there. It's just performing as good as that. So far, so good. Every time, right? You really have to just, you know, think, be aware of the fact that every time you go out in with your car, as soon as you start driving out, out, out of your home, basically you're putting yourself in the risk of any potential car accident. Doesn't matter even if you're a good driver or not. You want to be a good driver to begin with, right? Because you want to lower the risk of... You, you don't want to cause car accident, right? So it's good to be a good driver to begin with. But then there are other... There are a lot of bad drivers out there too. Unfortunately, human drivers, they make mistakes, right? Get distracted by smartphone. They, they, just, they just get distracted. We get distracted by a lot of things. Smartphone. We can't 100% focus on driving. Not 100%. Anyone who says 100%, it's just not right. That's why full self driving autonom autonomy has to publish for, for obvious reasons. It's safer. It's safer for us. Now, the question of whether it's going to be 100% 100% perfect, I'm not sure. I don't think so. But as long as it's safer than humans, we should strive for it. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm doing here. Trying to help Tesla in this case achieve their full autonomy their mission one of their biggest missions you know on my end just just letting people know them experience and in doing so i'm helping them collect data right every time i'm i'm on the road using full self driving the car is collecting data every oh, that's what i'm doing here but that's just my two cents and yeah just just really extra careful just just be prepared for any potential incident or accident whenever you're on the road uh, but one thing is uh, Tesla with Tesla they they make safest cars in the world in in human history there's so many reasons to buy a Tesla 
right? Safety reasons, electric vehicle, much more economical, right? Than gas cars. And Tesla offers the most cutting edge technology in market. And they just never stop being innovating. Uh, emissions, which is to push the sustainable energy. There's just so many numerous reasons to buy Tesla and support Tesla. Elon, uh, I'm almost here. It's a good drive. It's, I just never, I don't buy any other car. I can't think. If there is any other cars that are compatible to Tesla, what Tesla is offering, I'll think about it, but there's none, not, not even close. Uh, good news is that I'm going to continue making this series uh, for some of you guys who have been, you know, thankfully supporting my content and watching my content uh, day to day. Uh, so I appreciate uh, you guys uh, for being very supportive. Um, um, speaking of which, <laughs> since I uploaded the last video of uh, me getting into car accident while I was, you know, doing Uber, I had a passenger in the backseat at a full self driving version 12. 0.3.5 activated if not six um and i was going straight obviously at the speed limit 45 miles per hour i had no stop signs i had no traffic lights uh on the other hand the other driver had stop signs it was uh, intersection there was a blind spot created by this suv on the right lane from my side um, and then, you know, it created a blind spot for me and the other driver. But nonetheless, I, I, I saw some of the comments, um, you know, it's a mixed bag, right? Some of the comments are very negative. I know you, why did you, why didn't you do that when you do this, blah, 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 blah. Hey, if you're ever in a car accident situation about, you know, accident that's about to happen, then, then it, it, it's different. It's different than just watching a video at that moment. It, it's a different situation you, until you actually experience that moment. It's, it's hard. It's, it's easy for you to say, do that. I could have done, I would have done this. I, you could have done that easier, easier said than done. And at the time, first of all, but let, let me speak with this. If you rewind the video, rewatch the video, the footage of the accident, full self driving was not slowing down. I was waiting to see how we would do, which was already risky, but I had a little bit of trust, believe that FSD would slow down, but it wasn't slowing down. So because it wasn't slowing down, and I realized in a split second, within two or three seconds, I had to make some movement, and I didn't, I, it, it was wrong. It would be wrong for me to, you know, uh, turn left, because that's the opposite lane. Even though there was no oncoming traffic from the other side, it's just not, I, I wouldn't do that. But instead, in a split second, what I was thinking, because I, like I said in the previous video, I didn't want to hit that person. So I try my best, absolute best, to steer the steering wheel yoke to the right, very right, as much as possible. That's it. That's what I did. And, and next thing is, so you guys were saying I wasn't slowing down. Why didn't you, you know, step on the brake pedal? Rewatch it. Rewatch the screen. Rewatch the speed. It was going down because I was, I was literally pressing the brake pedal so hard. Literally with, with all the power that I had, I was squeezing it so hard, squeezing it down so hard. So it was slowing down as you can see. I wanted to point this out as well. I'm not blaming. I'm not putting the blame on full self driving. I never said that. And some of you guys are saying I'm like blaming this on full self, full self driving. Come on guys, I never said that. And I specifically said multiple times, I support full self driving and I'm going to continue to do that. And I told you guys that Tesla, you know, uh, autopilot team is working on solving the software problem, which is the biggest problem. It's software. If hardware is not the problem. So I, I believe that they're gonna solve it. So I'm supporting full self driving and Tesla. I just wanted to address that. Look. Robot taxis, I, I don't know. It's, you know, it's all opinions that we, we form. We never know. We never know how if this whole thing is going to pan out. So we'll see. And I support Tesla no matter what, but I can form my opinions. That's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I'm just forming my own opinions. That's it. It might be wrong. I mean, right. No, no, no one cares. Who cares? Like, we'll, we'll see what happens, right? It's all gas games, you know? Um, but anyways, I, I just personally think that, you know, like with cameras, there, it comes with limitations, you know, like there's a sunlight, whenever there's a direct sunlight that's coming into the 
you know, the forward facing cameras, they still freaks out. It, it literally can't perform. Like, you know, it's just, that's the limitation, it's the truth. So when it comes to robot taxi without drivers, there has to be extra safety hardware, which is either lighter or radar, maybe, maybe not. That's what I was going at. I have no other intentions. I'm trying to just like share my ideas, that's all. I want you to clarify with you guys that I'm I'm Tim Tesla. I'm, I'm wearing this. I'm still going to promote and spread the awareness of full self driving as, as long as I can. So um, I want to just tell you guys that and I'll be back with uh, more episodes. <laughs> I'll continue this series and I uh, uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it uh, continuously and hope you guys support the content and channel. I really appreciate it. Some of you guys uh, my, uh, were frustrated and maybe disappointed by the previous video. Uh, maybe you guys might have interpreted or misunderstood the intention behind it, but there was literally no other intention but just sharing what happened. It's just one of the episodes that I wanted to share. That's about it. But again, I'm I'm Team Tesla. I'm going to support full self driving. I'm already in like heavily in this um, you know technology. This is weirdly one of my biggest interests, and I want to see. Uh, this technology coming into full fruition. So that's it and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. You guys have a good night wherever you are and please stay safe, positive and you know make make your day count because you never know what's gonna happen in, in this life. So just, just be uh, grateful and happy. Uh, do your best. That's about it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, peace. Just now.